This is Dave with DRH Acrylic Creations. Tonight we're going to be doing a 10 by 20 canvas in basically copper tone with a patina. So at least that's the goal. Uh, colors are listed here uh, and a couple of these are brand new to me. This is uh, Boom Gel and this is a metallic gold. My cell activators today, today are Lamp Black uh, by Amsterdam and also Titanium White. I may or may not use. This is uh, Naples Yellow. I'm not really entirely sure, but we'll see. All of my cell activators are mixed with three parts Australian flow trout to one part paint. Pillow paint is going down now. This is uh, Sherwin-Williams Color to Go and it is a cream color. Um, this has been too thick for me, so I added just a little bit of uh, GAC 800 to thin it down. Okay, this is pearlescent white. It's a pigment from, uh, from Fire Dots. And I uh, had it sitting on my bench, and I thought, well, it's about time that I use this. On top of that, it's gonna be the uh, pearlescent black. And this is also a Fire Dots pigment. This is a new find for me in the last uh, month. And it comes in a huge jar, this pigment. Usually you get a small amount. This is 100 grams of uh, pigment that you get. It's, uh, it is amazing stuff. Okay, I'm putting down, I guess I decided to use the Naples yellow after all. I'm putting the Naples yellow on the back of my, my swiping tool. This is the Boom Gel. Go, uh, metallic gold. I'm going to swipe across the back of this and create some background effect. Now, a little bit heavy handed there at the beginning, so I'm going to spread that out just a little bit and create some more interest. This is a scoop and drag. And just to get, give it some, some more flow at the end. Okay, loading up again. This is my smaller tool. And that is metallic gold, copper plate, and now the uh, PBO uh, blue green. The beautiful paint has a, has a undertone shimmer. Across the top of that is the pearlescent white. Excuse me, that, that side, that's Amsterdam lamp black without the cell activator. And again, this is the cell activator lamp black. A little more Naples yellow. This is the metallic gold. That's the copper plate. And the blue black. I'm just trying to decide what's next with this. If I need to add more of a color layer, or if I need to do some modifications. I'm going to do some more scoop and drag. What I'm doing is I'm scooping under the paint and pulling it out. That pulls out not only the color layer, but all the other cells that are there. It stretches them out a little bit. It makes some, adds some interest and certainly adds some flow. What I'm hoping for with this piece is to create a the copper patina that you'll see on older buildings where it's it's that, that green patina.
It's actually a look that I'm very, very fond of. See that on the east coast of the United States quite a bit, but not so much on the west coast. I'm just going to paint, play in the paint for just a bit. Controlling the uh, flow of the paint and adding some interest. Looking at uh, the overall composition. At this point, I wasn't really happy with, with how the composition was looking. I'm going to fiddle with this quite a bit. So let's just sit back and listen to uh, some jams here and uh, watch what I'm doing. I'll be back in just a bit. Okay, I'm spinning out and stretching this up. I split this up quite a bit. Uh, I think it was around six times rather than the four times I listed. Taking care of the edges here. And with as much paint as I have on here, which turned out later to be kind of unnecessary. At this point, I wasn't really sure if I was sold on this yet. And I continued to work on it. What I'm doing now is trying to get the paint out from uh, drippings. And it's important uh, if you let the drippings, the drips continue, uh, it will continue to pull your paint off the, off the canvas. So you get as much paint off as it drips and it slows that process down. Lots and lots of spending with this. Okay, there was some of the color layer. I wasn't really, uh, didn't think it showed up enough, so I'm adding some enhancements here. What I did is I took my skewer and I dipped it in the color that I wanted to show up in that area and just drew them some lines, added some interest, Just enhance what was already there. Sometimes when you do one of these pieces, it just flows naturally and the end product doesn't require a lot of enhancements. And I actually like it when I have the chance to uh, play in the paint just a little bit. I sped this up quite a bit because uh, of the length of time that the video would have been. I'm really just looking to make this look organic and uh, continue with the flow of the paint. You're not seeing it over on the side. I have my, I have my uh, blue, blue green. I also have the copper plate that I'm dipping on. If you have any questions or comments, I invite you to leave those down in the comment section below. I really enjoy hearing from you, and I look forward to answering anything I possibly can. I use the Sheely Art style of painting, and although I include recipes and and ratios in my description uh, there's something like going to the source to, to learn the technique and if you're interested in taking the course I have a coupon down in the description. I considered leaving this off the, the fiddling uh, but felt that 
in retrospect that it needed to have that shown so that you knew what the process was. Although sped up, you get a sense that this really did take some time. I kind of lose myself when I get to working with the paint, as I call it, playing in the paint. At this point I'm looking and I'm saying, hmm, I think we're about ready. I'm going to bring you down for the flyover. I want you to notice the the veins of color that I got through this and how well the the blue and the copper work together. The blue, green, and the copper were amazing. I'm so glad that I used the Naples yellow. It really did enhance the piece. If you found this video today useful, I'd invite you to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and ring the bell for notifications of future videos that I'll put out. It's my goal to put out at least two per week, and I hope that you're finding them useful and enjoyable. Thanks for being here. I hope you have a great day. Bye now.